Nothing illustrates America's breakdown like the way the president's hometown celebrates its holidays. Memorial Day, 12 dead, 56 wounded. The 4th of July, 10 dead, 53 wounded. Labor Day, 9 dead, 46 wounded. This kind of third world carnage has become absolutely normal. If the president held a press conference every time multiple people were murdered by criminal gangbangers with illegal guns in Chicago, we'd hear from him almost every day. Instead, he says nothing. And the untold secret in Washington is that he has all the laws he needs to stop the bloodshed now. Under the existing federal gun laws, he could take every felon with a gun, drug dealer with a gun, and criminal gangbanger with a gun off the streets tomorrow and lock them up for five years or more. But he won't do it. His Justice Department won't do it. And the media never ask why. So convicted gangbangers carry illegal guns because they fear rival gangs more than they fear being prosecuted for a gun charge. Every police officer on the streets in cities like Chicago, Baltimore, and Detroit knows what it's like to get called to a murder scene knowing full well who did it because the killer was in the back of their car yesterday or last week. Thugs like Darius Brown, who was supposed to be serving a 10-year sentence for second-degree felony robbery, but got let off with five years probation. So he was free to roam the streets and kill a nine-year-old girl while she was doing her homework. If you want to stop violent crime, and I know you do, take violent criminals off the street. Prosecute them under the current federal gun laws and make sure they don't get to their next crime scene. That's the way to save lives. If the president held a press conference tomorrow morning and directed every federal jurisdiction to round up every felon with a gun, drug dealer with a gun, and criminal gangbanger with a gun, law enforcement would have thousands of violent thugs in handcuffs and squad cars by sundown. Instead, he waits for a crime that fits his agenda and blames the NRA. Mr. President, we will not accept blame for your failure. The NRA has demanded the strongest possible prosecution of the federal gun laws for over 20 years. Our repeated calls have been met by deafening silence from the Washington elites. President Obama and Hillary Clinton and other politicians use the carnage to campaign for more gun laws. They won't and don't enforce. And the good, honest Americans living out in farm towns in Nebraska or Oklahoma, or working two jobs in inner city Chicago or Baltimore. People who keep their heads down, raise their kids, and just try to do the right thing, they see through it all. We've lived through the Clinton administration's utter lack of federal gun prosecutions, and the Obama administration is following suit while the country suffers. And we know that a second Clinton administration will just mean more the same. Americans have no tolerance for violent thugs, no tolerance for the politicians who enable them, and no tolerance for a media that devotes endless time to new gun laws, but won't even ask why we don't enforce the existing federal gun laws we already have. No organization has been louder clearer or more consistent on the urgent need to enforce the federal gun laws than the NRA. And in the face of mounting political and media pressure to demean, shame, and silence us, we will fight. If you have had enough of the dishonest debate, if you're sick and tired of politicians blaming you and your guns for their failure, demand truth and justice. Stand and fight with the NRA.